Welcome to Mike Shimeri's Music Collection. In this episode, we'll look at a handful of debut albums from the 2000s. Let's begin. The first debut album from the 2000s is Gordon Goodwin's Big Fat Band, Swingin' for the Fences, which came out in 2001 but was recorded in 1999. I discovered Gordon Goodwin a few years ago when I purchased Animaniacs on DVD. He composed the music for some of the episodes. So I snatched up every Big Fat Band album that had been out at the time, which went up to That's How We Roll. Since then, Life in the Bubble and a Big Fat Christmas Rap This have come out, along with the Little Fat Band album, An Elusive Man. There are ten tracks on Swingin' for the Fences. The first is Sing Sang Sung, a Benny Goodman pastiche, followed by Count Bubba, Samba del Gringo, Bach, two-part invention in D minor, I Remember, Swingin' for the Fences, the title track, Mueva los Huesos, Shake Your Bones, Second Chances, There's the Rub, and A Few Good Men. My favorite of those is Count Bubba, with Samba del Gringo a close second. Each track features solos, and the soloists on the album are Arturo Sandoval, Eddie Daniels, Eric Marienthal, Brandon Fields, Dan Higgins, Andy Martin, Tom Rainier, Carl Verheyen, and Gordon Goodwin himself. The rest of the 2000s debut albums in this episode are all by saxophonists, starting with Schiltz and See What Happens, which came out the same year as Swingin' for the Fences, 2001. Schiltz had been with Down to the Bone since they debuted in 1997, and he would remain with the band until 2007. My favorite tracks on See What Happens are the title track itself, which is spelled out in vocoder form, Mind the Gap, Short Island Iced Tea, The Word is Out, Stacks of Sacks, Tequila Frenzy, and Cop This! with an exclamation point. The third debut album from the 2000s is Mindy A. Bear and It Just Happens That Way, which came out early in 2003. I was hosting the Mike Shimeri show at the time on Web Radio WCWP and played my share of tracks from the album. And my favorites on It Just Happens That Way are the title track, which has some spoken word from Mindy, as well as Lucy's Flirt, As Good As It Gets, Right On, Salt and Lime, and Play. There's also one vocal track, an eagle-eyed cherry cover, Save Tonight. Debut album number four is by Eric Darius, Night on the Town, released in 2004. This album was recorded at Ken Navarro's studio, and Eric is backed up by Ken's band. Jay Rowe on keyboards, Gary Granger on bass, Blues Webb on drums, and Kevin Prince on percussion. There are ten tracks on the album, one of them vocal, and the ninth instrumental is an instrumental version of the vocal. In order, there's Joyride, Heads Up, the title track, Let It Flow, Love TKO, a Teddy Pendergrass cover, In the Pocket, Let's Stay Together, an Al Green cover, Cruisin', an original song that features Ken Navarro on guitar, You're So Fine, instrumental, and You're So Fine. The last 2000s debut album on my list is by Jesse J. No, not that one. This one is spelled J-E-S-S-Y, not I-E. And Jesse's debut album was Tequila Moon in 2008. There are two vocal tracks on this album, Mash Que Nada, the Sergio Mendes in Brazil 66 song, and Besame Mucho. As for the instrumentals, there's the title track, Spanish Nights, Sin Ti, Without You. Fiesta Velada, Poetry Man, Turquoise Street, PB&J, as in Paul Brown and Jesse, Running Away, and A Song For You, or just Song For You, as it's known on this album. Five tracks, including PB&J, were co-written by Paul Brown and Jesse J. Tequila Moon was also written with Tommy K. Greg Karukas, Ricky Peterson, and Kiki Ebsen have turns on keyboards. And Kiki also wrote one song, Turquoise Street. There you have it, five debut albums from the first decade of the 21st century. Let me know in the comments below if those or any other 2000s debut albums are in your collection. Until the next episode, thanks for watching. So long.